In programming languages, variables are often used in code as a way to store information. Variables are very much like a container. Within variables, we can hold a number, phrase or other important information. We use variables to make our code smarter. When we're creating code, we can refer to our variable as a way to refer to that information being held, such as a score or a character name. For example, we can use variables to store the score in a game. If you were programming a computer game, you could make a variable called score. This would store information about the number of points you've won during a game. As the player collects points, the variable would continue to change. We can also use a variable within animations that we make. Let's say we want to create a personalised story for a person using our program. We can create a variable to store the information of the user's name. We can do this by creating a variable called, say, your name. When the user enters their name into our program, as input, it stores their name as information. Now, during our program, we can simply refer to the variable your name and the user will see their own name appear. An important thing to remember about variables is that they can change. Unlike a container where we can keep adding content into it, the new information we store into our variable replaces the previous. For example, in our animation, by updating the name, it replaces all occurrences of the variable your name with the new name. What's unique about variables is that we can give them a special name, our own unique name. But what we have to remember is to try to use logical names for our variables that are meaningful and help others looking at our code understand what we mean. And it's also helpful for us to remember what variable when we want to refer to it.